Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new things that we've added in our latest version of Pixel Mash, which is 2021.2. And I'll get right into it. Um, first thing you can see here, uh, if you're a frequent Pixel Mash user, that you'll notice is that um, now when you're using these painting tools, you'll see a preview of the, the um, actually what it will look like when it's drawn while you're using the tool. So I'm using the line tool here and as I move this around uh, rather than just drawing a preview sort of blue line it draws the actual pixels um, that you'll see. And uh, this works with all the tools um, up here and also with layer effects. So if I add say an outline layer effect um, maybe let's, uh, let's double this just to make it interesting. Um, you can see that you know the preview will draw using those layer effects um, and like I say this applies to all the tools so uh, the normal paint tool or say the masked paint tool if I were gonna be drawing like a shadow in here or um, the fill tool will show what that would look like on any of these um, so anyway it's much easier to sort of see what you're going to get when you use these um, and it can be really handy again with things like uh, say I make a child layer for this and I mask it to the parent and I add a dither effect on it maybe like a 63% dither let's make it black with a lower opacity and then when I come paint on this you can see it'll just preview all of that nicely for me or if I were to use the fill tool on that, that would show exactly what that would look like. Anyway, it's very powerful, um, very handy, works with, like I say, with all the tools, um, pencil tool, the uh, brush tool. Oh, let's go into what color we're using. Um, and it's super handy. Um, another thing that you may have noticed when I did these outline um, colors is that in previous versions of Pixel Mesh, um, all of the color choosing would be done in this color chooser right here. And it was indicated by whatever was outlined in blue. And so if you had multiple effects like a, uh, say a colorize effect, um, you would click on this down here and um, you would then choose the color up here. But now the, the, the difference is, is that this color chooser is only used for the active painting tool color. So we'll, you know, if you start painting, it will always paint in the color that's shown up here, uh, which is more intuitive. And then to change colors down here, when you click on one, it will put up a pop-up color chooser. And the, um, the blue indicator right here, let me turn off this colorize effect to make this easier. Um, the blue outline color just shows the active color within that effect. Um, so like with outline, you know, you can have as many different colors on here as you want. And if you want to drag and reorder them or remove them, you need to know which one is selected. So that's why it still has that blue outline around it, but that no longer indicates what's controlling this color chooser. This ch color chooser will always be just for, you know, your brush or your... Uh, your pencil tool or um, yeah, whatever you're using up here. Um, and then there are just various bug fixes that make things uh, a little bit easier to use. Um, things like uh, when I, I'm drawing in a line tool and hold shift to constrain, this used to not always snap nicely to the, quite the right values and now that does much better with that. Um, there are just little things like uh, the parent layer, if, if you have a collapsed selected layer, the parent layer will display this sort of um, lighter selection color to let you know that one of its children layers is selected. Um, some bug fixes with uh, other display issues and just layer dragging. Um, several things just to make your life much easier. And uh, we hope that you love it. And um, if you have ideas, just go up to the help menu and choose send feedback and let us know what you think. Thanks.